Hello students and welcome to Drama Club. This afternoon we have the retelling of a favourite fairy tale, <clears throat> Goldilocks, like you've never heard before. Let me introduce our narrator. And playing two parts, we have the fairy godmother and Flora the Explorer and Goldilocks. Let's start with scene one at the Royal Ball. There is a party at the palace and the festivities are in full swing. There is music and dancing and ice cream cake, but not everyone is having a good time. Look over there in the corner, just under the chandelier. You can see Goldilocks talking to her best friend, Flora the Explorer, and Goldilocks doesn't look happy. I do not believe this. What's Cinderella doing here? I thought that you took care of things. I did exactly as you told me to do. Did you really? Yes, I did. Well, clearly you did not because I can see your sister Cinderella over there dancing up a storm. Well, for your information, I did exactly as you told me to do. This afternoon, I went online and signed Cinderella up for a free trial to Disney Plus. And as far as I know, at this very moment, she is sitting at home on the couch, binge watching every episode of High School Musical. Well, something has gone terribly wrong, Flora, because Cinderella is here at the ball. Are you blaming me, Goldilocks? Well, I have to blame someone. Maybe you forgot to pay your internet bill. We have prepaid. Anyway, you have a bigger problem on your hands. Prince Charming has just arrived and he's over there by the bowl of fruit punch talking to Cinderella. Alas, alack, curse that wretched Cinderella. What are you going to do, Goldilocks? It's time for plan B. And that's the end of scene one. Let's move straight on to scene two, which is outside the palace. Unfortunately, Goldilocks didn't have a plan B. Instead, she had to sit and watch Prince Charming and Cinderella waltz around and around the dance floor without a care in the world. To make matters worse, Flora was now on the far side of the ballroom having an animated conversation with a talking donkey. In exasperation, Goldilocks left the ballroom and walked outside to the car park. There she saw the fairy godmother pumping up a flat tire on a big fat pumpkin coach. Couch. Coach. Coach. Hi, fairy godmother. Oh, hi, Goldilocks. What's wrong with you? You've got a face that looks like thunder. Oh, well, tonight was the night that I was going to meet Prince Charming. Prince Charming? Oh, are you looking for your happy ever after? I want to play football. Football? Yes, football. And Prince Charming is the captain of the fairy tale All Stars football team. And you want to join the team? Exactly. And now that wretched Cinderella has ruined everything by turning up at the ball. But Cinderella doesn't play football. Exactly! And now she will get picked for the team. But Cinderella doesn't play football. I know! And that's why life just isn't fair. What did you just say? I said Cinderella doesn't play football and in fact I'm the manager of the fairy tale all-stars football team and if you wish I will make you part of the team you can do that of course I can granting wishes is my special skill oh you're the best fairy godmother what position would you like to play on the field? I want to be a striker. Then that's what you'll be. Swish, fish and deeper piker. 
make Goldilocks a fabulous striker. Oh, thank you, Fairy Godmother. That's what I'm here for, my dear. And that's the story of how Goldilocks came to play for the fairy tale All Stars football team. In fact, she ended up becoming the captain of the team. But that, dear audience, is another story. And a big round of applause for our All Star cast to Gellin, Mrs. Drummond, and Miss Saunders. Yes! Thank you, students.